They are the images organisers of this protest had desperately hoped to avoid. But for a second night, police officers under attack from an angry crowd around Whitehall. Running for cover as protesters threw bottles and other objects at them. As the officers headed under the arches in King Charles Street, reinforcements from the Met's public order unit rushed in to hold the police line. You okay? At least one officer we saw suffered a head injury in the violence. As more reinforcements arrived, police began making some arrests before gaining control and holding off the crowd. These images will deeply worry police commanders and the Home Secretary, already incensed about the violence here just a day earlier. I'm absolutely sickened and appalled by the level of violence that was on display. Um, police officers were abused and police officers were injured. And we have a police officer that is seriously um, injured and in hospital right now. And that is absolutely unacceptable. Black Lives Matter! This will be deeply disappointing for the many thousands of peaceful demonstrators who turned up en masse outside the US Embassy earlier in the day. Determined their message, one of peaceful protest, would be the abiding image. We were slightly concerned, but this is how we felt, how we felt after being oppressed for such a long time. So the feeling of anger, it is there, so I do understand, but it is not just. Two weeks after George Floyd was killed in Minneapolis, the passion and sense of injustice is still profound. Government ministers, police and health officials had urged people to stay at home because of the ongoing coronavirus health emergency. The huge turnout, an act of defiance from these protesters, who said the issue was just too important to stay at home. When we walk into a shop, when we walk anywhere else, if we're with our friends that are black, they just get oppressed straight away. You can see they get judged. And it's not fair. It's not how society should be. We should all be um, in one. We should be in one harmony. As darkness descended on Whitehall, more serious violence as an angry crowd confronted public order police officers. The Prime Minister has said people have a right to protest peacefully, but they have no right to attack the police. These demonstrations, he said, had been subverted by thuggery.